I made this video a few days back where I shared a real simple method for removing simple grayscale from your colouring pages. I then shared that video within my free Facebook group and a member of the group shared a much more simpler, efficient and easier way for removing grayscale. I then tried the method and I got my colouring pages going from looking like this to looking like this. So what I'm going to do in today's video is share with you that real simple and efficient method for removing grayscale. Now, quick side note, if you want to know how I'm currently creating my colouring pages using Midjourney, then come and check out the Ultimate Colouring Page Prompt Generator. This is a bunch of information that we feed to ChatGPT4, and then we can ask it to create prompts, highly detailed prompts, on almost anything that you want. Now, if you want to check this out, I will leave a link for this down in the description below. So... Let's go ahead and run through the process. This is so simple to actually do. It's really quick and it's really easy. So what we're going to do is take this image just here. Now, if you don't know about this just here, this is a new Chrome extension, which I've been playing around with. Now, I actually made a video about this as well a few days back. That's this video just here. I'll link it down in the description and I highly recommend going through and checking it out because this little Chrome extension just here will save you so much time. Now, what we want to do is actually download this image. So we're going to click download just here. We're then going to go over and use vectorizer.ai. Now, this is still currently free at the moment, but in the near future, they will be starting to charge users to use this service. Now, let's take this PNG. We're just going to plug it in there. Then we're just going to let it do its thing for two seconds. Then, once it's done that, it's turned the PNG to a vector image. We're going to click download. Now, there's a couple of settings that you want to know about. We want to make sure that the group by is color, and we want to make sure that the gap filler, fill gaps just here, is unchecked. Now, once you've done that, we just go to download. Now, we have the SVG file. We're now going to come over to here which is photo p and with this software this is also free to use as well now we're going to take the svg we're going to drag and then we're just going to drop and now what it's actually done is opened all of the layers here of the svg file now what we're going to do is just close all of these folders like so just do every single one so that they're all closed like that we're going to go to layer up here in the left hand corner. We're going to go to new and then new layer. Now with this new layer, we're just going to drag down to the bottom because we want this at the back of all of this imagery. Then we're going to go to this little circle down here. We're going to go to color fill, click on white, and then we're going to click okay. So now we have a layer, a white layer at the back of all of this. And now, we can go through each of the layers or each of the folders, unchecking them so that it takes away all of that gray scale and just leaves white. So as we can see, once we start going through, we now have all of that image and with none of the gray scale. And that's how quick it is. And then we can just go to file, go to export, PNG, go to save, and now we have our coloring page. Now, if we click on this to open it, it's going to look like this. So again, a very, very simple method. Now, is this going to work with every single coloring page? Probably not. I've tested it a few times and it doesn't work with every single coloring page. But the good thing about using SVGs, you can then just go into that layer, which isn't working. Let's click on that you can actually go in and edit it really, really easy. But again, that's the method. Now let's go through this one last time so that you can see it one more time. So I have another image just here. We're going to do this one. With this one, this has a little bit more gray scale in as well, but the method works extremely well. So we're going to click on download. We're going to go over to vectorizer. We're going to drag that image in. And then we're just going to give it a second to do its thing. 
Now, once that it's turned the PNG into an SVG, we're going to click download. We want to make sure that the group by is by color and we want to make sure the gap filler, fill gaps, is unchecked. We then click download, then go over to photo P. We drag that file into photo P, we give it a second, we close all of the folders like this, which is really simple to do. We go to layer, add new layer, we drag this down to the bottom to put it at the back, we go onto this circle, go to color fill, we make sure that that is on white, we click OK, and then we can go through and tick in and hide in all of that grayscale. And there we go. Literally done within two seconds. Then we can go to File, Export, PNG, Save. And now we have the coloring page as well. Now if we move these over, we can see both of these. And they look extremely good. So come through, give it a go. Cos Vectorizer at the minute is currently free. Photo P has always been free as well, but it's really going to help you clean up your images so you can go from looking like that to looking like this. And as you can see, it just looks so much better and it's more suitable for actually colouring in. Now remember, like I said, this isn't going to work perfectly on every single colouring page, but the great thing about SVGs, because they're all in layers, you can just go through and easily clean up these images as well. Now I'm not going to get into that in today's video because I'll make a separate video all about that. Now if you want to see that video, don't forget to drop a comment down below letting me know. Now if you liked this video, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. Also go hit subscribe and hit that little bell icon so you can be notified for any future videos. And if you want to watch more of my content, click right here and watch this video.